This is today's project. Out of my outside cooking area. Waving to cars as they go past. Today I'm doing beef teriyaki on a stick, kind of like the Chinese uh, Chinese restaurant food that you get. I really like them and I know that I could probably do better than most of the restaurants around here for uh, a better cut of meat and a little bit more uh, on the ingredient ends. Added a lot of ginger to those. They smell fantastic. We haven't put them on the grill yet. As you can see, they're in my infamous trick-or-treat bucket right now. The other thing that I did was uh, some chicken wings, cooking up some chicken wings for my neighbors. They really like them. Uh, I tried a new type of spice. You'll see that a little bit later in the video. Let's cook. Hi guys, it's Jim from Yankee Folk. Today we're going to be doing a uh, teriyaki beef sticks over the uh, open fire. So, pretty simple ingredients. You got a good, albeit cheap, uh, roast that I bought today. It was about $9, a little bit over $9. Good package of meat. Um, and this is the type of stuff that you can use for these recipes. You get your wooden skewers. One tip on the wooden skewers, if you're going to be cooking on the barbecue grill or on an open fire, make sure you soak these at least a half an hour, at least, in, in a cup of water and flip them around. Try to, try to get them uh, soaked completely. What that does is it makes them less apt to burn in the fire or on the grill. So the ingredients... Some low sodium soy sauce, you don't need the salt, the low sodium tastes just as good. You got teriyaki sauce, fresh ginger root, and honey. I'm gonna have to fillet off. But for the money, that's that's a good amount of beef. I don't eat much beef. But this will work out good. You save these little scraps for the puppies. Nobody goes nobody goes hungry at Yankee folk, that's for sure. Let's get cutting this. So you can see that the grain is running this way in the meat. So the best way to cut the meat is across the grain. And they say about a half inch slice. These will get all stacked up on the skewers. All right, so let's mix the marinade. I tend not to measure a lot because I cook a lot, so I kind of, I don't know, just do it by eye. Teriyaki sauce, teriyaki. Probably about a half a cup of teriyaki. Low sodium soy sauce, I would say about two and a half. Two and a half tablespoons. <laughs> what was left in it? That's good timing. One thing I forgot to mention is either they use wine, Japanese wine or Chinese wine or you can use the rice vinegar. What that does is it helps break down the, the fibers and the meat, make it a little more tender. We'll do a couple tablespoons of honey. One, two. Two and a half. 
Never going to hurt anything. And then we're going to grate up some fresh ginger root. I like a lot of ginger in it. We're going to end up doing this whole root section, but I won't bore you with the details. Get that stirred up. We're going to pour it into the bag of meat. All right, let's get the fire going. Get it burned down to a point that we can cook over it without burning anything. You want it nice and low, if any, flames. It's burning over uh, some maple and hickory right now. Okay, well the fire is almost burned down. I want to get, get those flames down a little bit more before we put the, the grill over it and start cooking. A uh, couple more minutes, we got the chicken all marinated. And I tried something new today. Pit Boss. Champion Chicken. Which, if you know me, you know what the joke is. If you don't know me, Champion is my last name. So it should be delicious. I don't think there's much of anything that smells better than chicken over an open fire. It's still cold up here a little bit in New Hampshire, so nobody's riding around with their windows open, thank God, because they'd be probably crashing out front. Smelling all this deliciousness. Damn fools. Let's get going on skewing up these pieces of teriyaki beef. So, like I said, make sure you soak the uh, skewers in water for at least a half an hour. That'll keep them from burning on the grill. No exact science to this, just don't shove the skewer through your hand, and I've done that before. One of the tricks is, depending on how you like your steak, if you want it a little bit less done, a little bit more rare you uh, put the pieces of meat tight together and that just protects it a little bit and let's let's it cook a little slow we're gonna have to pack these because I I figured on 12 skewers but it looks like I'm gonna have more than that already so we'll get through this again you don't have to see me do 12 of them you get the idea <laughs> 